Hey everybody, welcome to the studio. So, this is something I've just gotten into recently, which is mixing your own watercolor from dry pigment. So, uh, okay, so this is my uh, black graphite. This is a do not inhale. Uh, this is my filter mask. Uh, it's a 3M product, and uh, this is what I'm going to be wearing out of an abundance of caution while I mix my pigments. Now, this is probably overkill. You probably don't need this. An ordinary paper dust mask is probably fine, but uh, I already had this one, and it's actually pretty comfortable. So, so the, um, the graphite, titanium white, uh, a few other colors here. I got a cadmium orange. I don't know if you bought a tube of cadmium orange recently, but this here was like $10. It was less than $10. This is why I have the mask. Uh, cadmium was famous, like, uh, as a paint that you don't want to inhale, so, or you don't want to eat. But, um, like, if you look at your graphite gray uh, tube of watercolor, there's the pigment on the back there, PBK10. Same pigment, exactly the same stuff. So that table paint, I don't know how, I can't recall, whatever you're gonna buy it from Daniel Smith, but let's say it's $20. That's $20 of the pigment when you buy it in bulk. So there's a convincing argument right there. So this is my watercolor medium recipe, which is two parts gum Arabic, four parts water and one part glycerin. Um, glycerin is the humectant, which is the re-wetting agent. And then you can add oil of cloves or preservative, which is uh, something I didn't do the first time. So I'm going to try it the second time. Uh, I did not do that the first time. And here is some mold. So um, I'm going to try it next time here when I mix some for this present project. Um, so the glycerin is just, uh, I get it at the um, pharmacy. Um, people use it for making shampoos. Doesn't have to be food quality. There's also this stuff called methyl cellulose, aqueous dispersion liquid. So the guys at the pigment store, I went to Cama Pigments here in Montreal, wonderful store. They recommended I add this for better dispersion. So uh, I don't know if this is absolutely necessary, but I'm using it in there as well, just to adding to taste. So that's the recipe. So it's even a little bit ridiculous to make a video for this because it's so easy. So, or at least I think it's so easy. Um, there's <clears throat> probably more scientific way to do this, but you know, I'm not uh, trying to make things more difficult. My goal is to treat this, uh, you know, just like um, I would mixing up colors on my oil palette that when I start for the day. So, you know, if it's any harder than uh, your normal painting process, then why would you do it, right? So that's, that's some of the medium gum Arabic that I've uh, previously mixed up according to that recipe. And, you know, it's basically like peanut butter here. Starting to get something right away. There you go. So, uh, yeah, that's all there is to the process. You could get more fancy and use a, a muller, one of those. Uh, a muller is a glass tool that kind of is um, designed especially for mixing paint. But, you know, I find it's fine to just do it with this palette knife. Gets the job done. Uh, easier to clean up. No specialty tools, etc. This is the oil of cloves. Come in. This is the least scientific paint mixing process ever. I think that's got it. Well, you could probably put this in pans, in half pans, if you're into that. I'm just going to use this little jar for now. There we have it. wearing the mask for this one. 
Hence the no talking. Look, so here it is. This is the graphite gray and uh, mixing it with some of the orange. So I wanted to go with just two colors to get started and um, test it out, see what it does. Look at that, look at that dispersion. It's basically exactly like watercolor paint. Amazing, huh? I mean, really, I actually can't tell any difference between this homemade paint and the paint I would get out of the tube. So, yeah, that's pretty much a win. Victory. Successful experiment. I'm quite impressed. I don't know why I didn't try that sooner. Well, how about that? Okay, so uh, now I can make uh, my own paint for basically no cost and uh, custom make my shades. I think this, uh, I don't know, we'll see what this unlocks. <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh, I mean, I initially did this because I have a project in mind that might use, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, it's 30 by 30. We're going to do some experiments, one after another, and just see what we get. I won't talk about the future because who knows if I'm actually going to deliver. So, uh, yeah, let's leave it there. <laughs> Take care. See you tomorrow. Post your paintings to the website or to the Facebook. And uh, I'm very excited to see what you guys are doing for your 30 by 30.